No matter what happens, this is a significant season for Jagger Dirk. Knowing that I won't be able to come back next year and this is my last year playing for this for this team and the organization, it's kind of, I don't know, it has deeper meaning than all the other years. And Dirk will admit his five-year WHL career has flown by. I still remember shifts from my first game. Uh, and and it's weird thinking that, you know, when I was 16, you know, Dustin Sylvester, Ryan Molly were the 20-year-olds on this team, and I'm the same age as them now. It's kind of, it's very nostalgic. Which in a way, Dirk says, makes him feel... Old. <laughs> makes him feel real old. You know, you're only allowed three 20-year-olds on the team, and I'm, you know, I'm one of those guys on, on this team, and so, you know, pretty special. But definitely old. I always hear about it from the rookies how old I am. Just him being 20 doesn't mean he, uh, he doesn't get bugged. Uh, we have a lot of fun with him. It's quite funny. Well, uh, I don't know. He acts like he's been here uh, about 10 years or so. So everyone chirps, chirps him about how long he's been here, and uh, he acts like an old man, old grandpa. So you know, every time he hits the boards, I think he's just going to turn into dust. <laughs> Those brittle bones of his, and you know, I live with the guy and acts like an old man, drives like an old man kind of get tired of it sometimes. All kidding aside, Dirk has a WHL championship to his credit and knows what it takes to win in this league. Uh, certainly everyone knows what he's been through. I mean, he was here when they made their long run there. And uh, so, I mean, everyone knows when he says something that, uh, I mean, he's been there before and he's, he's had it happen to him and he's done that. He's been here the longest uh, for sure out of all of us. So um, he knows that it takes a win. He's on a winning team and um, Provides good leadership in the room. He's played well so far, and you know, even speaking on Landon Peel and uh, Landon Cross, these are these are guys who are older guys, who are older defensemen on our team, who are, who are leaders, and we're going to rely on them the rest of the season to to carry our team. Obviously, being older guys. And for that, Dirk has his own leadership style. I'm not really a raw, raw type of guy. You know, Monty was that type of guy last year, and you know, good on him. But him and I are have different personalities, and I just try to lead by example and. And if some guys are having trouble, you know, I talk to them, make sure uh, they're doing okay and help them out and impart some of the, some, I guess, some of the wisdom and knowledge that I've picked up in the past couple of years. Moving forward, Jagger Dirk hopes to find himself somewhere in the American Hockey League next season. That's the goal. You know, I can always, I have five years of schooling and Europe's always an option or East Coast or something, but the AHL is my, is my main goal after this year and then work my way up there into the NHL, obviously. A very offensive player, and he moves well and skates well. So I, I do think his chance of him playing pro hockey, absolutely. And when that final horn sounds on Dirk's season, well, he's not sure how he'll react. I, I honestly have no idea. I'll pr be very, very happy and very sad at the same time because I had such a great five years here. But I'll be sad to, to uh, leave it behind and, and say goodbye to everybody, you know, uh, especially my you know, friends and Bill and family, I've lived with them for five years, so they're home away from home. So it'll be, uh, it'll be happy and sad. For Rella and Pliny Ice Chips, I'm Blaine Evans.